Here, we're going to look at how to convert between metric units of volume. There are kind of two categories of metric units that you can use to measure volume. One of these categories is based on units of length. So we have things like cubic millimeters, cubic centimeters, and cubic meters. The other category contains units that you're probably most used to dealing with when we're talking about liquids. So things like milliliters and liters. Luckily, there are some very straightforward ways to convert between these two categories. For one, it turns out that one milliliter is the exact same thing as one cubic centimeter. So if you ever hear, watch a hospital show and you hear a doctor scream out for two cc's of epinephrine, they're talking about cubic centimeters, the same thing as two milliliters of epinephrine. The other relationship that we can use to convert between these two categories is that one liter is the same as one cubic decimeter. Now I'm guessing that you have never even heard of a decimeter before, so here's what one looks like. Here's one decimeter, and it equals 10 centimeters. So we can write out this equivalence here. We can also say that one decimeter equals 100 mil millimeters. And we can say that 10 decimeters, when put together, equals a meter. Any of these relationships here can be used to build conversion factors. So let's use this information to, uh, to do a few example problems. What is the maximum volume of liquid in milliliters that this container can hold? Imagine it's made out of plastic or something and you pour water into the top. We're saying maximum volume here just to imagine you fill it all the way up with water. So what are the steps I'm going to take for solving this problem? Okay, the lengths of all the sides are given to me in centimeters. So I'm going to start by calculating the volume by doing length times width times height. When I do that, I'm going to end up with units of cubic centimeters. And since we said that cubic centimeters and milliliters are the same, once I get cubic centimeters, I can just easily get right into milliliters. So step by step, let's get the volume first. So volume is going to be uh, length, 5.00 centimeters, times width, 4.00 centimeters, times height, 7.00 centimeters. Multiply these three things together and we get 140 centimeters, 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 cubic centimeters. Now, as we said, one cubic centimeter is the same thing as one milliliter, so I can really just rewrite this as 140 milliliters. But maybe you have a teacher who's really, really picky and wants to see you actually convert between these. In that case, you're going to use this expression here to write conversion factor that looks like this, one milliliter over one cubic centimeter, and then you'll have your 140 cubic centimeters. They cancel out in the conversion factor, and you're left with milliliters. But all you ended up doing was just multiplying by one and dividing by one. 140 milliliters, in most cases it's going to be fine if you just take this and rewrite it in milliliters. A kiddie pool is shown in the diagram. What volume of water in liters can it hold if filled all the way to the top? So what I'm going to do here is sketch out my plan of attack. There are actually two ways that I can solve this. I'm going to show you what I think is the most straightforward one to start with. So I'm going to start with my lengths here in meters, and I'm then going to convert them to decimeters. After I have them in decimeters, I'm going to calculate the volume of the pool by doing length times width times height. And from that, it's going to give me units of cubic decimeters. As we said earlier, one liter is the same as one cubic decimeter. Oh, this should be cubic here. And so I'm going to be able to convert from that into liters. Let's do this step by step. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to take these three lengths and convert them from meters into decimeters. So 1.50 meters times, I'm going to use this as a conversion factor, 10 decimeters on the top, one meter on the bottom. There are 10 decimeters in each meter. So what I'm doing is I'm multiplying this by 10. I'm not going to bore you with the process of all of this. So here is my three lengths in meters converted to decimeters. I've essentially multiplied each one of them by 10. Now my lengths are all in decimeters, 
and I can move on to this step of calculating the volume. I'll do 15.0 decimeters times 25.0 decimeters times 50.0 decimeters. And that will give me rounded to three significant figures, because there are three significant figures in uh, each of the numbers I'm starting with. I'm going to get 18,800 800 decimeters cubed, or cubic decimeters. And as we said, one liter is the same as one cubic decimeter. So I can just write this in liters. Or if you want to be really fancy, you can write the whole conversion factor based on this statement here. One liter over one cubic decimeter, cancel out the cubic decimeters, and you're left with liters. Now there's one other way to solve this problem. It involves us converting cubic meters into cubic decimeters. We do the steps in a slightly different order, so if you want to see that, I'll do it now. So here, I'm going to start out with my lengths in meters, and I'm going to go right ahead and I'm going to calculate volume of this by doing length times width times height. That's going to give me units of cubic meters. I'm then going to have to convert the cubic meters into cubic decimeters. And finally, once I have cubic decimeters, I can easily convert into liters. So let's start off by getting the volume in cubic meters. 1.50 meters times 2.50 meters times 5.00 meters is going to give me 18.8 .8 meters, 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 meters cubed. Now I need to convert from meters cubed to decimeters cubed. I have this relationship here, but decimeters and meters, they're not going to do it because I'm not talking about decimeters and meters. I'm talking about cubic meters and cubic decimeters. So how can I do this? What I need to do is I need to take this relationship, 10 decimeters equals 1 meter, and I need to cube both sides of it. Okay, So I'm going to take this and cube it, and I'm going to take this and cube it. And what that's going to get me is 10 cubed is 1,000 decimeters. And they've been cubed too. So I have 1,000 cubic decimeters equals 1, because 1 cubed is just 1, 1 meter cubed. And this here is the relationship that I can now use to convert between cubic meters and cubic decimeters. I have a video on this called you know, Conversion Factors with Area and Volume. So if you're confused, you want more practice with this, check out that video. But anyway, now that I have 18.8 .8 meters cubed, I can use this equation here to write a conversion factor that will convert from cubic meters to cubic decimeters. Meters cancel out, and I'm left with, uh, with decimeters here. Multiply through, and I get 18,800 cubic decimeters. And as we said before, those are the same thing as liters. So you can just rewrite the answer, or you can do this whole long conversion factor thing if you have to be super, super, super precise. Keeping these two relationships in mind will let you really easily convert between these two categories of metric volume units. But you know what? You probably won't only have questions that give you rectangular objects, where you can find the volume by just doing length times width times height. Sometimes you might get cylinders or spheres. We have to calculate their volume and then do a little conversion. So here are two equations that might be useful. To find the volume of a cylinder, it's pi r squared h, where r is the radius and h is the height. And to find the volume of a sphere, it's going to be 4 thirds times pi times the radius cubed. Regardless of what type of shape you're talking about, you're going to end up with units of a cubic something or other, cubic centimeters, cubic millimeters, cubic meters. And then you can use these conversion factors to move between these and these.